Hi, this is Marcy. Our February evening skies will have bright planets and bright stars. Check them out. The month begins with the waxing crescent moon floating close to Venus. They'll make a spectacular pair. Nearby is the steady light of Saturn. In fact, we've got four bright planets in the evening sky as the month begins. Dazzling Venus will catch your eye in the sunset direction, especially as darkness falls. Brilliant Jupiter is high overhead, reddish Mars is high in the eastern sky, and the steady light of Saturn is sinking toward the horizon below Venus. The first quarter moon is headed toward Jupiter on the evening of February 5th. Nearby is the orange giant star Aldebaran and the Pleiades star cluster. The moon Jupiter and Aldebaran form a line on February 6th. The gibbous moon will visit Mars and the twin stars of Gemini on February 8th and 9th. The full snow moon falls on February 12th. The full moon will lie close to the star Regulus in Leo the Lion, although it'll probably be washed out in the bright moonlight. Venus has been a beacon in the night sky for a few months now. It'll reach its greatest brilliancy on February 14th. Venus is the goddess of love and is at its brightest in the evening sky for 2025 on Valentine's Day. How cool is that? By mid-month, our four bright planets have shifted a bit. Mars is closer to Jupiter, Venus is lower in the evening sky, and Saturn is slipping closer to the horizon, making it more challenging to spot. Try to catch Saturn below Venus soon after darkness falls. Starting around February 24th, the planet Mercury will be joining the planets in the evening sky. Mercury and Saturn will be close to each other in the evening twilight. Look for them about 30 minutes after sunset. Binoculars might help. Good luck finding all five planets at once. At month's end, Mercury will continue to climb higher and will lie lower in the sky below Venus. Mercury will be at its greatest distance from the sun in early March. Bright planets aren't the only thing you can see in the evening sky. We've got some bright constellations as well. The most obvious constellation to pick out is Orion the Hunter. Look for three moderately bright stars close together in the sky. That's Orion's belt. Check out its two brightest stars, Ready Betelgeuse and Bright Rigel. Then look for the three stars hanging below Orion's belt. Does that center star look fuzzy to you? That's the Orion Nebula. Stars are being born there, and you can see it with your unaided eye. Wow! Next, let's take a look at Taurus the Bull. Right now, the bright planet Jupiter is near the V-shaped pattern of stars. You can't miss them. Aldebaran is a foreground star to the Hyades open cluster, but is part of the V-shaped pattern of stars. And above them is the delicate Pleiades star cluster. The Pleiades, or Seven Sisters, is a favorite of stargazers and looks fabulous in binoculars. Next, we'll venture on to Gemini the Twins. Mars is floating in front of Gemini this month. This month, you can watch Mars line up or form a triangle with the twin stars Pollux and Castor. Last, look for a bright star higher in the sky than Jupiter and Mars. That's Capella and is the brightest star in Auriga the Charioteer. Auriga is a pentagon-like shape and has several lovely open clusters visible in binoculars. February nights may be cold for some of you, but it's worth bundling up to do some planet and stargazing this month. Have fun!